Real estate industry news source Inman.com reported today that according to Fannie Mae, the modest recession we are entering could put a lid on 2023 home sales ahead of what is generally a busy spring buying season. With all indications pointing to a continued recession as we move towards the second quarter of 23, it is likely we will see buyers pull back once more, just as they did when rates hit highs of nearly 7% last fall. Out of the gate this year, we've seen high demand for homes and relatively low supply, which has again led to homes selling over asking price with multiple offers. Though, rates jumped about a percent last week. And that's thanks to a strong jobs report and last week's consumer price index, which showed inflation cooled marginally in January. You may ask why positive news would lead to talk of a recession and indicate a less favorable housing market. And the reason is that even though this seems like a paradox, it actually strengthens the case for the Federal Reserve to maintain a tighter monetary policy for an extended period of time with the expectation that the Fed will continue to raise rates to 5.5% by the middle of 2023. Economists anticipate the Fed will then reverse course and begin cutting rates later this year. In most every area of the market, from consumer goods to housing, consumption continues to outpace income, which is unsustainable. Eventually, consumers will need to cut back on spending, which will affect all areas of the market, including housing. So what can we expect from the real estate market going forward in 2023? First, we don't expect to see rates returning to what we saw in the later part of 2022. In fact, we should see rates continue to fall as we move into and through quarter two of this year, with Fannie Mae predicting rates around 5% for a 30-year mortgage by year end. The Mortgage Bankers Association tells us we may even see rates as low as 4.6%. Let's hope they're right. On the topic of inventory, it's likely we will see reduced or limited inventory as we move through the year. As mentioned earlier, we had a strong start to the year, and Fannie Mae has already revised their home sale volume forecast, predicting the sale of 4.67 million homes this year increased from 4.52 million. That's still an 18% decline in sales from last year's 5.67 million homes sold and the slowest year of home sales since 2011. So those looking for a home won't have a lot to pick from. Home appreciation is always a hot topic, as an individual's home is generally one of their largest assets. In most areas, we likely won't see much appreciation at all due to market conditions, and though most homeowners shouldn't see a decrease in home value due to low supply and high demand, modest losses in value may be possible in some of the larger, more inflated markets. Are you in a position where you need to buy or sell this year? If so, reach out to me and let's talk about your individual situation and goals. My team of experts and I will help position you for success in today's market. I'm Andrew with the Andrew Yegi Real Estate Team of EXP Realty. Thanks so much for watching.